Okay, so the my favorite pattern is rounding pattern, or we call it the cup pattern. Also, it's like a U cup, or you can say a saucer pattern. If it's a shallow, it's a saucer pattern. If it's a U, it's a deep pattern. It can sometimes also have a cup and a handle pattern. Now, let me tell you some basic things about this pattern, which is very very powerful. Okay, so this is like a cup which you saw, uh, and this is a breakout. That that line which you see is called the resolution line. in that point which is called the breakout the resolution point the line is called the neckline sorry and resolution point now once it breaks out then you have a huge target now let me give you some basic things about cup pattern cup pattern will only happen on individual stocks individual stock means what it will not happen on indices it will not happen on currencies it will not happen on on uh, commodities you know why because this cup pattern is limited to is is having a criteria where a particular company goes through a distribution channel means goes through a bad phase and means any kind of product failure or any kind of uh, failure in terms of government policies or any kind of recession in that and then slowly slowly it accumulates for some years and then starts going up and then it has a turn around and then it breaks out now all this can happen not in a number of days but in a number of years that's why a cup pattern is only valid or i would say this is my interpretation some books may differ some people may differ but this is how i work is weekly and monthly chart only you will see cup pattern only weekly and monthly chart so the cup has to be at least 2 to 3 years to 5 to 10 20 years longer the cup stronger the pattern remember this always longer the pattern stronger the result is going to come a big breakout can come out of that so a distribution followed by accumulation followed by advance and followed by growth that is the cycle now how do we trade this pattern okay let me show you this one that's a multiple cup here jsw steels can you see that that's a multi year cup and this see this big one escorts right see this one like from 2008 to 2016 like such a big big cup it's like 10 year cup and and then it breaks out and it goes like a rocket so if you get one stock like this one stock and also that stock happens to be in futures derivatives then you are sorted for this year you are done for this year i just look for one stock because escorts is there in futures you can trade the whole that stock only throughout the year using all the strategies all the start trading strategies all the trend following strategies you just buy and sell buy and sell some portion you buy and hold some portion you keep trading and then that will make all the money you don't need to trade so many stocks so many so many other instruments and you trade and you need to uh, scan so many stocks 2000 stocks in nse and 200 stocks in in futures right so this is number one clue for this section is that one cup pattern in futures trading is more than enough okay now let's see this one cup pattern which we traded some time back now if you look at this one can you see a nice little cup nice a u cup it in fact had a one false breakout you remember this is 2006 and i also remember look at the volume huge volume now this happened to be a failure you know why because i i remember because i was trading this and it says there was a rumor that walmart is going to take over bata and that deal got cancelled in 2006 and then it went back into this so that comes to the stop loss point so what you need to do is stop loss can be done in this fashion let me just show you how to trade this stock this is your breakout line you are going to first of all not buy immediately let's say this is the price which is say 140 So you are not going to buy at one forty one. That is like everybody will do that. One forty and one forty one has no meaning. So you need a proper proper breakout. So what we have done to filter a long term breakout, we have put a, put a filter of four percent. So let's say one forty becomes one forty six. Then only I take it as a breakout. Then only I will buy, right? And I want once it crosses one forty six or one forty seven, I will buy. and i don't now i i'm expecting the stock not to go below the 
uh, neckline, which is 140 and still have some buffer below that. So total, I will put 2% below the buffer, which is say 137. So from 147 to 137 is my stop loss, which is like five to 6%. Now five to 6% is the, is the stop loss level. Now you have to reverse calculate on how much money you want to risk. Let's say you want to risk uh, 10,000 rupees and 10 rupees is the stop loss. So 10,000 divided by 10, you will buy 1,000 shares and hold. And it hits the, tar it hits the stop loss, you lose 10,000. And then that cup pattern broke finally in 2010. And that time we again traded and then it went up like a rocket from 140 to 300. That was the first target and then it came retraced. So then after that, I lost that trade and then it went like crazy up, 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 right? And how to calculate target, I'll come to that. So let's see some more cup pattern. First, get the eyes tuned to looking at cup pattern, okay? So let me show you some more uh, cup patterns. Can you see this one nice U is this a nice cup pattern, right? And look at 1995 to 2007, 12 years. And say the small handle also here. And then zap, it goes like more than two times the target. And look at the volume. And then it goes again into a new cup pattern here. Not the exact or the best shape I would love to see. So I will not take this. I want... If I'm trading something very big quantity and very good pattern, I need everything to be in place. I don't want to take half-hearted trades. That lesson number, main lesson you can learn today is don't take half-hearted trade. If you're not sure, don't take it. You'll get enough opportunities. So let's see one more cup pattern. Similar, see this cup pattern, 10 years and good volume. Right, this I'm showing you the from the past. Now let you want to see something from the present. Okay, so let me just show you some more. Okay, that's not the one. Uh, there was one thing called as, ah, best one, the biggest one, which we have seen so far. Can you see uh, this cup pattern here? And how much is this 30 rupees? And how much it went on to 2000 rupees, Agenda Pharma. Now I'm not saying that I made that much money for sure. Okay. We started here and we ended somewhere here. And then we thought that it's enough. Almost three times money. And then it went up crazy, crazy, crazy. That, Cup pattern is a multi-bagger in stock using technical analysis if you can trade it properly.